In this video, I will travel down to Southern Europe, more specifically to Italy in the hunt of a carpal fly, together with my good friends Paolo Paccherini and Niklas Bauer. I sometimes get the question if I ever get tired of fly fishing, and I'm not too worried that I will. When I see these two guys with so many decades of fly fishing experience, and to see their passion and their joy for the sport, like it would have been their first day, they are as happy as playing kids. And I think it goes through very much in this video, where we have a relaxed day, just doing fishing for fun. Proof that fly fishing can be a lifetime passion. This fishing day is recorded just the day after finishing the Fly Maniacs carp episode. And in just a few hours now, the weather has changed drastically. To have this opportunity feels so incredible. I was uh, just expecting to be behind the camera, but having the opportunity here to be sight fishing for carp. We've done an episode here now with carp fishing and it has been crystal clear water, incredible conditions. But when it is like this now, starting to have some rain, water level is going up a little bit, it's cloudy sky, a little bit of wind. I think they will be way less spooky than in the episode we have done. But uh, the episode itself will be incredible and uh, just the visuals in that film, I will link it as a suggestion in the end of this video. But today, I have the opportunity to catch my first carp on fly. So looking forward to this. So uh, let's do it. Sight fishing for carp. Yeah, I put it. You lost the carp? Yeah. Yes, to, to catch them. Yep. Because when stay in the corn, are more aggressive than and less spook than, than shallow staying water. shallow. Yeah. I actually have the carp fever because they are so cool and they're so tricky and you really gotta need to kind of like it's a lot about casting and presentation oh it's all about casting and presentation and uh, so yeah actually most, look at this my hair is standing on my arm most of the success <laughs> most depend on the representation of the yeah, carp yeah, yeah. because sometimes you have the lucky to see the fish spot the fish yeah. and the fish can eat him yeah. uh, and you have some chance to presentation four or five times yep. and thinking that don't bite yep. when cast and the right presentation the same flies but boom, bite. Boom. But you'll take Robert now and I'll go and check if I can see any yep. fat yes. catfish tailing. Good yeah, luck man. Get one now. <laughs> don't Thanks. fuck up. <laughs> don't fuck up. It's your turn, okay? And don't fuck up. <laughs> <It's your turn. laughs> you know. Yeah they're sort of expecting me to catch a carp today and I feel a bit nervous. It's an honor to be fishing with such experienced profiles from the, from the industry. It's uh, really cool. So I am just, just standing behind the camera fishing with, uh, I've done fishing a lot with, uh, Paul, with uh, Niklas before, but fishing with Paolo as well. Learn a lot by just standing and look at him. But today to be able to have him talk to me while I'm casting, it feels, I'm just happy for that. I don't have, for me personally, I don't have to catch a carp, but they put a lot of pressure on my shoulders today. So um, yeah, I'm a bit nervous, a bit shaky, uh, especially when it's so tricky with these presentations that you don't screw things up. And Paolo can be quite rough when he, he does it for me, he wants me to do well, but uh, it, it can be that he's quite... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, Paolo is Paolo. <laughs> it's funny. He, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better go casting now. Cat carp is feeding. When we went out here to take the first casts of the day, I tried to look at these clips afterwards and you can't really see the carp through the water. There are a couple of them circling in this bay in front of us, which we can see through our polarized glasses, but on camera it's just not possible. 
one main concern that Paolo had with my first casts were my presentations. The landing of the flies and line was much too aggressive. Yes, so next time you do like this. Less, more soft like this is fine. Okay, you cast. Oh. Okay, like this. If you can, okay. Plus then. <laughs> okay. okay, more close to, to cast to the fish and okay. to cast like this. Okay. 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 Then, if you cast a little bit up, drag, let it sink and finish. Okay. Okay. If you feel that you are a little bit in distance, it's better that you do it. Oh, there's two carp. Two carp here. Big carp. Yeah. But usually don't feel when you stay like this. You cast like this. Yes. Okay. When, when. More like new. More like presenting a new. Yeah. Now like a euro new thing. When, for this time. Yeah. Usually, when you run in the fast corner, it's difficult that bite. My missed opportunities were too much for Paolo. So he went for some quick casts for Carp himself. I think I make no one surprised when I tell you he caught a Carp. Just to show there's nothing wrong with the gear or his self-tied fly. <laughs> Not big, but beautiful color and carp is always a carp. Great. Come back home. Home sweet home. <laughs> now we are ready for another one. Yeah. Can we see the fly? Yep. I use the same here. Yes, the same that you use is like this. Yeah, quite heavy. A little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. Small and medium. A dumbbell? A dumbbell, yeah. yes. Black, because it's all black. Some rubber, one uh, small uh, uh, wave tail. On the contrary, all black. This is all black. So, have I learned my lesson now? Will I be able to catch the carp? Well, I can't say they didn't give me enough opportunities. There was no shortage of carp. Right there, no, right there, right in front, on that side, it's coming towards you. Cast, rod length, you're outside, outside, there, there you go, perfect, Robert. Another one coming, another one coming. This distance, outside here. Robert, Robert, here, right outside. After I had scared away all the carp from that area, we decided to go a little bit upstream to unfished areas. Hopefully there can be a few fish left that we haven't disturbed. But confidence is starting to be down in the bottom.
think they're coming here. Yes! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> For me, yes. this is the best situation. Yes. When the fish coming, yes. you have the time. Oh, it's the grass up there. Yes. Should I go yeah, out in the water? Stop a little bit. And you go. Oh, it's so cool. I could see it eat. <laughs> and you're looking for the one that's five. Yes. First carp by hook. Yes. Because it was hungry yes. and feeding, so you cast well, position the hook. Yeah, thank you. It's coming down now. <sighs> My legs are shaking so much. <laughs> so we use 0 020 Zero tippet? Yes. Yeah. And the, uh, the drag is very. Yeah. I'm dragging, yes. breaking with my hand here. Now, because when stop, you keep the pressure. Okay? Yes. So big head shakes. So what we're trying to do now is yes, to get it. Can, can work in yeah, we okay. get it downstream yes. because there's so much carp upstream. Yeah. So we can catch many today, hopefully. Yep. You have the chance. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm enjoying this so much. I feel a little grass, maybe. Yes, probably. But I still oh, see. I see. Yeah. I hold the rod high now. Yeah. Because you don't want it. Yeah. When when go. When don't have too much contact of the other grass. Yeah. And stop a little bit of pressure. Oh, my arm is cramping. <laughs> I think one is enough for one day. <laughs> Oh, now it's going. So five weight rod. Five weight. Yeah. yeah. It's bending a lot. <laughs> but now it's it, standing still. Yeah. I put more pressure. It help for the presentation when the five when uh, the water is very is low. Yeah. This is helpful. And also you can change uh, the tactics for a barber or yeah for a car in the same day. Now we're gaining some distance again. Up, yeah. Is, uh, I could feel the grass. grass that I don't want that coming inside. Now you can put the road in behind. Yeah. And a little bit unstable like this. 
like a trout. You can put more down? Yes, more down. Okay. So, so we get it downstream? That, yes, because I want that to come there. Yes. And I want that to understand that we are right here. Yeah. That we can It's nice size. Exactly. A little bit of grass on the leader. Mm -hmm. yes. Not too bad. And the road here. Yes. On the left side. Okay. When you can, you put the head outside. Yes. For uh, inspire more oxygen because the carp is really that easy. Now you can put a little bit of more pressure. I try. No, yes, and uh, the head, I need that the head to stay outside. Yes. The back, okay? More downstream. Okay, you put the road here. Yes. Okay, don't retrieve more. No, okay? yeah. Oh, 0 20 is making me nervous. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. You try to put the head outside because it's not ready, yeah? Yeah. Okay, now don't retrieve more. Yeah. Only use the head. Yes. You do like this. Stay high, high. Yes, high. yes. You are tall. You have long arms. And Niklas saw us as well. He's coming here. <laughs> ah. These blanks are super strong. I can just. Uh, now, now, you have to stay in this way. Yes. Near the shore. If you stay near the shore, the fish coming, okay? Ah. Should have a three meter long net. <laughs> Stay near the shore. Okay. Like this? And then now come up. Come up. Ooh, he did not like. <laughs> I think they met you before. When they saw you, yes, yes, he went away. <laughs> yeah, I want to get it up to the surface. So shoulder is burning right now. Just don't letting it get down deep into the vegetation and such. And also that in here it's critical to get it up, the head up in the surface. Oh, the cup. Yeah, there's a big one closer. So close. Sheeting a little bit now, resting it on my belly. Okay. Okay. Already now? Yep, I'm ready. You put the road high now. 
Yep. Yeah, just leave a little bit more. It's not happy. Yeah. I should I do different next time? Yes, Was it okay? Yes, it's okay. All the time you stick to the pizza. Yeah. And 10 meters out again. Are you going on 20 minutes now? Or? <laughs> yeah, the video is 19 minutes. <laughs> now, now you put a little bit of pressure. Yes. Because the fish is tired, they don't want to stay relaxed in the current and oxygen. Yeah. It's very still now. Maybe vegetation. Yes. Now I see it. Yes. This is the vegetation. I still feel it. Oh, it's loose. Yeah, it's loose. Just very strong. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> Yes. Ah. Okay, now when, when like this, you put the pressure. Okay, yes. when do the, something like this, shake the head. You put the pressure Road tip down now. Down. No. Okay. There you go. Push it inside now. The tip stay here. Okay. 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 Now, when it's open, you can put a little bit of pressure, okay? Exactly, like this. And then, oh! Okay, less, less. Now, again, the same story, okay? Put pressure now. To the side. So if you work like this, the fish coming. This is gonna be the first and last fish for Robert today. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, incredible. Strong fish? Yeah. You know, last year I landed a 15 kilo salmon yeah. in 15 minutes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you're having, now you're having a hard time landing a three kilo carp <laughs> in 20 minutes. <laughs> Try to get the head up and the rod to the left as soon as it, so you get it into the calm water here. Yeah. Head up and then sideways. Oh, it's actually another one following it. Yes, oh, I think it's a catfish following it. No, 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 I don't want to hear that. Up, up the road, up the road. Okay. Oh, it's a car. Exactly, I want that the head is Oh, is it a catfish? I think it was a catfish actually following it. It looked like that. I prefer it to be landed and released instead. I prefer to be eaten by a catfish. <laughs> This is why you're fishing, Robert. Come on. <laughs> Time to hit the gym. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here now. Here now.
things that come inside like this. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I can't even close my hand. Yeah, yeah, 15 kilo salmon, blah, 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 blah. Oh, good job, man. Good guiding, Paolo. Yeah, oh, 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 shit, you don't believe. Oh. Yourself that uh. have, you have. <laughs> now fight. Okay. Now fight. Oh, insane. Now you can oh. fight. How's your hand, Robert? It's cramping. <laughs> it's cramping? So you like the five weight? <laughs> oh, gosh. I think six weight is smarter. Nice carp. Look at that. I open your back. Yep. yep. You, I get give this to you, Nick. So you can film with this. Yeah, but I film most of the fight now. With yeah, this, so. that's great. So. Good job, Robert. Yeah. Thank you. Set the hook well in the tango. Put it in net. Oh, okay. Yeah. One finger is no problem. Yeah. Here. One finger in the ass, Robert. Yes, in the ass <laughs> is, is the best. <laughs> <laughs> in the ass is the best. Wow. <laughs> yep. Automatic personal okay. best, but practically 68, something like this. Wow. It's big fish, probably yeah. like a kilo. <laughs> 68, probably. Cool. Last look. Can you release it? Yep, you can release now. Fish is just ready to stay in the net. Incredible. It's big fins. Ready. <laughs> the fish is ready. Now, Any last oh. words? Oh, now can go to the car for sleep. Okay? Yeah, but he, he needs to <laughs> go Always on the man of the last words. <laughs> well, that was quite some adventure. <laughs> I'm just beyond stoked for this to happen. It's uh, with no expectations for my own catches when I got here. I was totally here in Italy to do Fly Maniacs episodes with Niklas and Paolo, so it's a unique opportunity that I got to do this. We uh, filmed both a barbell video and a car carp video so far, and uh, the carp fishing that we had in that video was totally different. It was uh, before no rain before that video, but now it's starting to have some rain, so it was way less visual now. The, the water is more brown but the carp is very active now they're cruising around like crazy and feeding so uh, i think i had an easier time now than they had in the video it's just super cool to check should really check that out as well yeah I, I just have to send my gratitude to these two guys that allowed me to fish today got the perfect guidance there from paulo teaching me not only putting me on the fish but also that telling me when I do wrong. I think that's a very important thing for a guide to be able to do when something uh, is not working. If a person, the, the, the person like me, I really want to learn and and, and, uh, and so it's important to tell the guide that. So Paolo was really rough with me just telling me like, no, you, you're rolling the, rolling the line out like you do a normal presentation with the dry fly or such, but you should do more of a flick. So the nymph lands first like more of a euronymphing style that you just throw the news more or less even though you have a weight forward line so first fish i tried that on and just instant super cool but yeah fly maniacs episode incredible sight fishing in that so i leave that as a suggestion here to watch next you will not see me in it because i'm behind the camera but thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed that one. <laughs> Incredible. Carp on fly. So cool.